Okay, now I'm going to show you my basic configuration now that I've shown you some network. Um, let's see how I use it. So in this case, kind of move this just a little bit. There we go. In this case, I have these network hooked to the terminal block. Okay, again, if I was to hook the stepper motors directly, I would have to unfasten those every time I wanted to remove the unit. Okay, so that seems pretty impractical. Rather than that, I have it going into the terminal block through this piece of plexiglass so it's sturdy and then into a punch down panel. All right, and then I can connect my stepper motors. So this is, leads to a stepper motor, and I can just that's going to be my X socket. Now the X one is engaged. Notice Y is empty because Y is being mailed to me. So I don't have that stepper motor just yet. And then I have the two Z axis and then I have another one for power. Alright. So on the ATX power supply right here I have these two wires just laying here. Well, what do I do with those? How can I connect these to this? Right? Well, here's how. First off, I need a tool. So let me get that tool real quick. Then I'll zoom in with my new camera rig that I got here. I made a, like a jib arm that allows me to show things without technically touching the camera. Okay, so here I got these two wires, and you can see. I had these attached at one point. Um, there's light brown brown. Okay, that's in the network schema that I showed you. I'm going to be using light brown brown as my power for the entire process. So the other wires aren't are being used just for the stepper. Um, the only time I use light brown brown is when I'm using power. All right, good. So light brown brown on this thing right here. Is located on this side with the B channel, top row. Okay, that means I could just go in here and connect light brown. I'll make light brown my positive. And this is where you just got to tell yourself which one's which. And I'll make brown negative. pushing those wires into the little grooves there. Okay. Then I'll put this little cap on. This little cap makes everything look better. And it just goes over the top of these things. Just like that. And look, there's this little thing right here. I don't know if that was meant to be, but this little clip, I cut it down just a little bit so it fits right on there. Okay. Perfect. Well, this one leads to the power. So rather than have uh, these weird wires show up, I just wanted the network cord to go down to my punch panel. And that would lead right here. And then you can see right here I got the light brown brown. Incidentally, this goes light blue blue, so these punch downs are a little bit different. Light blue blue, light green green, light orange orange, light brown brown. So pay no attention to the actual color because they are way off. Actually, uh, light green is on this side. All right. Then this wire goes to my controller. Let's look at that. It connects in right here to my power terminal. And now what that allows me to do for the whole configuration is, let's say one day I wanted to work on my controller mechanism. Well, all I have to technically do is unplug these four, put 
put them off to the side, unscrew my controller, and there we go. I could store my controller in a safer location if I'm transporting it or if I want to work on it I can just go take it over to the bench. When I'm done I can just screw it back and then attach my stepper motors. And that is called modular thinking. Coin term Jason Welsh. Thank you. Pretty much I like to have everything that just you can tear it apart, you can work on it, you can bring it back, um, and the only thing that I should have done is like label these wires, but I've done this enough times where I pretty much know exactly which one is wrapping where. And the, this one right here. There we go. On each of the stepper motors, so you can see a stepper motor over here, I can just attach it right into the stepper motor. So the stepper motor gets the female end and it deals with those wires. So you're going to have to work out a color schema for yours. I went with the traditional light orange, orange, light green, blue. That way, no matter what network cable I purchase or build, it's just a standard network. This is nothing special from what you buy at Best Buy. This real secret is the color schema inside here. And that's the one thing that I can't show you because the color scheme is going to be different between if you decide to do this via your stepper motor and my stepper motor. I've never seen the same stepper motors have the same color schema. Uh, and I have three or four different variations of stepper motors, so good stuff. But that's an idea on how to connect stepper motors to a controller and keep them organized. Enjoy.